So you've been learning to code at home, you're ready to start building your portfolio, and now you decided to go with a dark theme for your portfolio. I mean, yes, you are a developer. You most likely code in dark mode on VS Code. You probably have all of your other applications set up by default to be on dark mode. Your Android phone and your iOS phone is on dark mode. That's what you like. You are a developer, okay? But you're making a huge mistake. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. So don't miss this video. Watch the whole thing. You're gonna learn a lot. Let's get into it. Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, the one and only. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, guys. All right, cool. So let's talk about dark mode, right? Um, I know a lot of people have been watching my portfolio reviews and some people don't like the idea of me criticizing developers because they have dark mode themes, right? And in reality, it's not just the dark mode, it's the fact that they're basically putting a black background, right? And then a light gray text in a very plain homepage, right? And then on top of that, you know, the about section is barely readable. And when you go to the projects, they're doing the same mistakes, okay? So again, it really comes down to having like a really good portfolio that is helping to tell your story as a developer, right? And highlight your portfolio projects. That's the whole point of this. I mean, you wanna get a job, right? I wanna go and mention to you guys that you need to understand the process of you getting hired. Without understanding how this works and who is the targeted audience that's going to look at your portfolio initially, right? You're basically creating portfolios blindly. You need to create a user persona. Now, let's take a look at this, right? This right here is the definition of a user persona. A user persona is a semi-fictional character based on your current or ideal customer. That's what you need to start thinking about when you go in and create your portfolio. Who is the person who's going to give me a job interview? That's step one, all right? And it really comes down to recruiters, okay? Just a, a heads up, right? 59% of recruiters are female, 40% of recruiters are male. Now, let's go into HR, okay? For HR, 93% of executives assistants are females, right? Um, same thing for office managers, right? 90% business office managers, 85% human resource managers, 70%. So again, that's your targeted audience. Okay. Now let's take a look at this article right here. That's very, very good and explains a lot of color theory and also to how to target the right audience and how colors help you convert um, within, you know, in a design and, and how to actually use this to your advantage. Now that we know sort of like who is our targeted audience, of course, because the process of getting higher is usually you get to talk to a recruiter or usually you get to talk to somebody who is like an office manager or project manager or HR person. That's the first person who looks at your portfolio, guys. It's not a developer. Developers get to see you maybe in the second or third interview, right? Initially, these are the people that decide if you even make it to that point. So if you are not targeting these individuals with your portfolio, you're not even getting an interview, <laughs> okay? So again, let's continue with this, right? This basic knowledge of color theory, right? Um, and here's like a very interesting information. Target audience. Choosing the best color combination for a website is a question of understanding the psychological aspects of how color are perceived by various groups of people and what are the common associations. For example, the best colors for kids websites are bright, contrasting, and positive. For the sites with the target audience of women, the nice choice is soft and bright colors. The websites for men are often dark or neutral. Yes, guess what? Most developers are men. <laughs> this is what we go for, this is what we like. But guess what? This websites and this portfolios is not for us. This is pretty much like putting on a suit and tie 
to try to impress somebody. And who is the person that we're trying to impress? Most likely women. And I'm not saying that women don't like dark mode, but the science is there, right? This is stuff that, that has been proven. This is stuff that people have looked into, right? This is why when you go in and you see, you know, products that are being sold to women, I've never seen like a L'Oreal uh, commercial was like, hey, black background, white text. No, they don't do that. They go in and put in like a light gray, green color, you know, nature, fresh, right? Maybe a light blue. It's for a reason. Okay. Guess what? We got to start thinking like this too. If we want to convert them to give us that first chance to go to the next stage, we got to start using our brain now. Okay. So again, so this is just information in here. You could go in and start looking into uh, color psychology, right? Uh, gray, right? You got balance, right? Green, growth, equilibrium, navy is responsible, trust, peace, blue, ambition, black, strength, power, professional, accuracy, right? Purple, right? Fantasy, delight, distinguished, pink, sensitive, intuitive, love, uh, red, confidence, bold, orange, freedom, warmth, yellow, optimism, energy, fun. You get what I'm saying? So again, knowing how to use color to be able to convert somebody can really help you out in the long term. Now, again, let me continue with this. I got you guys. Okay. Uh, I know about all of this because this is what I went to school for, right? When I was studying for my bachelor's, right? I went for communication design because I could learn how to code on my own. This stuff, I didn't understand it. So I said, let me go to school and try to figure out and someone teach it to me. This is why I've been able to successfully always convert on whatever it is that I want to do. I want to sell a product. I can convert, right? I want to go in and get a job. I can convert, right? I want to get a date. I could convert. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I do, I convert. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. So let's continue with this, right? Let's take a look. This is a very good example. So this is a, a, a theme that it's like a series of themes that this company selling on theme forest and take a look at this right for product designer light theme right ui ux designer light theme web developer dark mode right isn't this interesting photographer right is a mixture of a little bit of both right you got a little bit of dark mode but mostly it's light mode right teacher light mode lawyer light mode Again, okay? it is what it is. Now you might say, well, it's because this converts, this helps developers be developers and developers get jobs, right? No, they're giving you what you want, but guess what? The people that actually know about color theory and the people that actually understand design and how design can help convert, they're not choosing the dark mode. Isn't that interesting, right? The person that doesn't know about these things is the one that's going to go for this theme of web developer. The guy that's going to go in and say, well, I understand how this works, right? Psychologically, I got to go in and make sure and create something that's appealing, that's welcoming, right? That's going to choose, uh, that's going to help the person choose this portfolio. And from there, also highlight my portfolio projects. Let my portfolio projects shine, right? that when they come into this portfolio, they feel good, right? Guess what? It's going to be this thing. It's not going to be this one. They're giving you what you want, not what you need. The people that have this knowledge, they're going to want something light. The people that don't have this knowledge is going to choose something dark. But yeah, let's continue. Let me show you some more examples. Let's go into this. Okay. So in here, Red Rooster using dark more theme for their website and it's really to highlight their actual product and their logo and what they actually do right now you from there have this other company phantom productions right they have something like this uh dark mode are you an industry leader consider approach to web design phantom production maintains a high level of authority with sleek dark look and visual hierarchy this works great once you're already an industry leader right you got this uh, Clamridge Homes, right? 
uh, you have this other one, which is like a restaurant. A lot of restaurants use a dark mode, uh, especially when it comes to like a steakhouse. That's something that they always use and, and go for because you want to go in and highlight, you know, the steak itself. But then the thing that pops up is, you know, the red from the meat, right? Which is good. It's like fresh. You get what I'm saying? Now, same thing for like high quality, you know, or high end things like let's say Mercedes. Mercedes uses um, a lot the dark themes, right? Luxury. Okay, this is something that you want to keep in mind. But look at this examples, right? Bear Walker boards, right? They're using light mode because they really want to highlight the product. For example, when you have a portfolio project and you have that section with all your portfolio projects, it helps it pop, especially when it's a lights uh, mode in the background and it just has a nice thumbnail of the project and you could help it pop like that, okay? It's the same reason why companies use the light mode for this. Light website themes are simple and can be quite refreshing. He's a great example using white space, Bear Walker ships uh, focuses on right? Same thing for, let's say for doctors, right? You go to any type of doctor website, you're not going to see a dark mode at all. That's, that doesn't work for doctors. That doesn't work for dentists. Okay. The dark is, is not a good thing to see. Okay. You know, you go to a, a doctor and like, Hey man, doctor, uh, I need a heart surgery. You go to his website. It's everything is dark. Everything is it's just uh, the color red somewhere. It's like, hold on, I don't know if I want to. I want to sign up with this guy. You know what I'm saying? It's all psychological. Okay. Same thing for medicine, right? Uh, again, dentists, right? Uh, you have tiles. Whenever you have uh, things that you want to highlight, you want to use a white background or a light background, right? It doesn't have to be white. It could be like a light grayish, a light bluish, right? Sometimes even a light green to work okay so again i'm just giving you guys some examples you guys gotta go in and and just take this for what it is this this whole video right some people's gonna agree with me some people's gonna disagree with me okay but i can tell you right now that i've tested it so when i give my students an advice on something i go out of my way and create two fictitious portfolios i did this around january this year and then from there, creating an email developer portfolio, right? The same information, same picture, same everything, same projects. I started applying as Juan Rodriguez, <laughs> okay? And then one thing that I noticed was the Juan Rodriguez light mode was getting way more calls and interviews either through emails or by phone call than the one that was a dark mode. Now you guys can go and test this out. You guys are actively uh, applying for new jobs. Create two different type of portfolios. Try one month light mode and try another month dark mode. And you give me the results here on the comment section. I guarantee you the light mode is gonna be way better than the one that is dark mode. Now folks, I'm gonna go in and put those links in the description for all those articles that I mentioned and also to some places where you guys can get more information about these things as far as color theory and how color can help you convert and just how everything works in general. I'm also going to go in and put a link in the description for 20% off on codingphase.com. If you guys haven't tried the service, go try it out. If you still got more questions, look at the description. There's a free training in there and you can watch the free training and then from there book a session with me live right like me and you sit down we do a zoom call and we talk about how we can help you out right this is how much i believe in my service that i'll sit down with you and give you 30 minutes an hour of my time to help you understand what we're going to be doing for you at codingphase.com as a diamond member and also too if you want to join the tech accelerator so again that's for us students only but again doesn't cost anybody anything to watch the free training so no matter where you live you can still watch the free training so anyways man guys you already know it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com make sure you give a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel okay i'll see you guys later peace